Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Edwards. It's Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. So we just got off the phone uh, on this brand new 2019 Forest River Cherokee 274WK. We have you exactly where you want to be, actually a little bit under where you want to be on the numbers. So I want to make this video for you, tell you more about this uh, RV. I'm really excited because this is a new floor plan and, you know, we have like a 30 foot uh, that is more, you know, it is longer. So if you want to be living with opposing sides, this one's a really great option. So I'm really, I've been wanting to shoot a video on this one. So I'm glad that you guys uh, called us today. So I have the opportunity to do that for somebody who's interested in it. So the Cherokees are the number one uh, retailing brand in the country. The reason for that, uh, for the build quality, uh, all the options you get, everything like that is pretty hard to beat. So with our dealership, we want to deck ours out with all the available packages. So up front, it does have an electric tongue jack. What's really great is that it does have a light here, so you can uh, see at night, early in the morning, whenever you're hooking and unhooking, it is a power tongue jack, and it does have a manual override. So in case of worst case scenario, you can access the uh, drive bolt there and raise and lower your RV uh, just in case something does go wrong. Um, it does have two 20-pound propane tanks. Uh, you know, those are pretty standard size, but you can upgrade them if you would like. The good thing is is with the design of RVs nowadays, you can use uh, less propane gradually and uh, have more electronic components. So where the battery box is right now, that's where we will install a deep cycle interstate marine battery on your RV if we can or in your business. Uh, Interstate's a really great battery, has an awesome reputation and they're available nationwide for an exchange if you ever need to do that. It does have a down plate up front to protect you from rocks and debris when you are traveling down the road. This is the front storage compartment here. Pretty good amount of storage. This RV is prepped for solar panels. So if you ever wanted to uh, go off the grid, you can keep your battery charged and your lights on with this 10 amp connection there. Uh, great thing about this RV, we do include uh, stabilizer jacks. You know, it's kind of crazy, but some dealerships order RVs without stabilizers, which makes uh, zero sense to me, but this one does have it. Uh, it does also have a quick connect, a RVQ quick connect propane connection there. So if you want to hook up a uh, grill outside, you can do that. This RV does have an electric awning. It's a pretty good size, and uh, it does have blue LED lights in there as well. So um, whenever you're... Uh, Standing outside, you can see what's going on with the blue LED lights. Uh, this RV does have a friction hinge door, so it's not like the older style doors where you know you have a latch uh, on the door and you have a latch here. The friction hinge will just easily open itself if it's like 10 miles an hour wind, so it doesn't bang against your RV wall. It does have a screen door as well uh, with a patented door, patented door opening system, so you can uh, you know like on a beautiful day like today. You don't necessarily need to, um, you know, have your AC on. You can just have the windows open, uh, have the screen door open, and um, have the fan on to get a good cross ventilation. So you can just open it like that, nice and easy. This one also has the steps, the uh, step above steps that resemble fifth wheel steps. People really like these because it's easy for people of all ages to get in and out. And they do have adjustable feet to different ground heights as well. Uh, this one does have an extra large door handle. It has three folding positions. Uh, you know, some RVs just have a tiny little plastic handle, but this one has a really large one, so it's easy to get in and out. Uh, again, this is a 274 WK. It does have the base camp package and the campfire package, so I'll go through that with you. Uh, let me go ahead, uh, go ahead and go around to the other side. It's a little tight right there, so I can show you more about it. Oh, a little tight there as well. Coming around, coming around. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Okie dokie. So here we are on the other side. Uh, this RV does have marine gray speakers on the outside with blue LED lights to match the awning. Um, you can bring the TV from inside and put it outside with this mount. Uh, our mounting system usually works best with uh, Vizio TVs, but there are adapters out there as well if you want different brands. Uh, so it does have uh, video connection and two uh, granite power connections outside, so that way you can get uh, television out here if you would like to do that on a beautiful day like today. Here's one of the sides in the living area. This RV does include a travel rack. It's rated for uh, 200 pounds, so if you wanted to strap a generator on there, you certainly could. Um, but yeah, it has a couple you know, great uses, uh, 200 pounds of capacity, so that's pretty good. Um, the furnace exhaust is right here as well for the propane furnace. 
this RV is prepped for a backup camera if you'd like to add one. Backup cameras can save lives, so we can help you out with that if you would like. Uh, this RV also does have a bumper on there, so if you want to put your sewer hose, you know, keep everything nice and neat, you can put it right here. Uh, this RV is 30 amp service, so it does have uh, the 30 amp plug, which of course, you know, more places have 30 amp than 50 from what I hear. Uh, this is the other slide. And it is prepped for cable, so if you would like to add cable, you just plug in right there, nice and easy. Uh, these are the access panels for the refrigerator in case you ever need maintenance, anything like that. Very easy to get to. And Cherokee got smart. They added a uh, LED light out here on the other side that we can see what's going on. You don't have to carry a flashlight, anything like that. Uh, the dump stations are conveniently located right here, gray and black. So it's very easy to get to. Uh, let me come back around again. Alrighty, so this RV does have a black tank flush. So, you know, this is the most efficient way to clean your tanks. If you don't have this, you have to get a wand to stick it down the toilet, which, you know, let's face it, most people don't want to do that. Um, or you can put ice in the tanks whenever you go down the road, it shakes everything loose. But this is the uh, most efficient way to do it. It has built-in nozzles in the black tank that do all the work for you. All you have to do is hook up a water hose, open up your black tank, and let the uh, black tank go out, turn the water on, and it flushes it out. That reduces smell and gives you more accurate tank reading. Right over here is the outside shower. It does have hot and cold water. So if you'd like to wash your feet off before you go in your RV, you can do that without checking uh, dirt or mud everywhere. Right over here, we have the city water connection. So of course, whenever you have constant water, that's where you plug in. It does have a fresh tank. So if you want to go off the grid and take water with you, you can do that. And you see built-in um, water pump to circulate the water. And this is uh, the gas and electric six gallon rapid heat water heater. So um, it does a pretty good job of keeping water available. Um, we also can upgrade it to a tankless if you'd like to do that. Uh, the gross weight on this RV is right here. It is 9,985 pounds loaded down. And this RV is uh, 6,776 empty. Well, that's it for the outside. Let's go ahead and go inside. All right, so let me give you a 360 view here. One thing I really like about this one, it does have the um, opposing slides, so it really opens it up in here, and it has LED lights on both slides. So if you just want to hang out, you know, watch a movie and relax, uh, you can have the LED lights on without necessarily having all the regular white LED lights on. And uh, whenever you're connected to 30 amp power, you can have the fireplace on, and it does generate heat, but you can turn that off and just have a light show. It has about four or five different cycle uh, of colors to add some ambiance. Here we go. All right, so this is where some of your switches are uh, for lights, uh, awning control, slide control. Uh, the great thing about the Cherokees is that they're flush floor slides. So if you're tall, whenever you stand up on a dinette, you're less likely to hit your head because you are sitting a little bit lower. Uh, this dinette can turn into a bed if you ever have guests stay over. Uh, what's really great is it has a ton of storage here on both sides as well. It does have two Thomas Paine designer recliners that are pretty comfortable right in front of the uh, TV area. All of the lights in here are pancake, uh, well excuse me, not all of them are, but uh, most of your lights are pancake LED lights. You can control them individually. They um, are very energy efficient. They use less power, generate less heat, and they will basically last a lifetime. So you don't have to worry about replacing them versus old style bulbs. Uh, this is the Edison style bulb as well to add a little bit uh, you know, of home decor here. Uh, what's great about the chair keys is that this one has the uh, accordion style blinds they're really easy to open and close versus dealing with the old style ones and this is um, a nightstand area so if you want to put your drinks or food you know while you uh, watch TV and stuff you can do that uh, the couch does turn into a bed like a futon it is a jackknife so if you ever have guests stay over, you know, you can sleep a couple extra people in here, no problem. Uh, the breaker box is located beneath the couch. Also the return for the furnace as well. Uh, it does have overhead storage. There you go. 
And on both of the nightstands, you do have power connections. So if you need to keep your devices charged, you can certainly do that or plug in anything else that you'd like. Um, also, these little nightstands, they have a little cubby. I don't know if you can see. Um, there we go. It has this little cubby here so you can store stuff inside. It's not just a solid piece. Here we have the other slide. Um, usually you can put a 32 inch TV. This one looks like maybe it'd be a little bit bigger, possibly a 39, something like that. Uh, but what's really great is that you have the HD antenna that's included. You can catch like 60 channels. All you have to do if you want to do cable, press that button, it turns off. If you want to go back to the antenna, turn on. Two power connections. And this is the same mount uh, that's outside, so you can just bring the TV outside if you wanted to. This is a radio. It's multifunction, AM, FM, Bluetooth, NFC. Uh, it does have HDMI input, so if you want to put like a gaming console or a uh, media player like DVD, you know, uh, blue. Uh, Blu-ray, stuff like that, you can just plug it right in and it'll work. Uh, it does have a headphone output, auxiliary input, and also USB, so it has many functions. Here you have storage, more storage, and of course the fireplace that we were talking about. Here you have the pantry, another pantry area. So the fridge on this one is a gas electric, eight cubic foot. Um, you know, with the gas electric, they're really a tried and true design. They've been around for a long time. Um, some RVs have the electric ones, but you know, this one's really made to be used in an RV. It's made to be moved around. So um, this will hold up really well. So here we have the stove and oven. What's great about the stove and oven, this new Furion design, uh, it has igniters not only on the stove top, but also in the oven, which is pretty rare to see. Uh, this glass insert gives you extra counter space and also acts as a backsplash whenever you cook, so you can keep your area nice and clean. Uh, it does have blue LED lights in here as well. Here's the oven. There we go. It does also have two power connections here. So if you want to hook up a blender, coffee maker, whatever you need, you can do that. Uh, here is the oven, or excuse me, here is the microwave. It is a residential power, 1,000 watts with a carousel, so it will quickly and evenly heat food. Here we have the island. So what's really great is you have the high-rise faucet. It makes it easier to wash pots and pans. Oh yeah, and then also I skipped this. Um, this one does have storage underneath for pots and pans as well. So this is the farmhouse sink that everybody loves. Uh, it's stainless steel and it is undermount. So, you know, if your uh, counter's dirty, there's no lip to catch debris, stuff like that. Um, it's stainless steel, so it's more sanitary. It's not gonna capture bacteria or stain with coffee or soda. <clears throat> and then here we have a bunch of drawers. I can't open all of them, because so I'll be here all day, but you can see you got all these drawers and storage underneath. Here we have the monitoring panel. So being experienced RVers, I'm sure you know, you have your gray monitoring, black monitoring, fresh monitoring, battery monitoring, uh, water heater control, and water pump control. Uh, what's nice about this RV is you do have an additional, um, an additional opening in the ceiling. So if you want to get cross ventilation going, that's just another place for heat to escape. Um, just wanted to double check this real quick. <laughs> Let's see, on the uh, air conditioner, this one should be a 15,000 BTU. Uh, most RVs come with a 13.5, but we deck ours out with the available packages. So what's great is that it's ducted. Uh, also, you have this control here. If you have it closed, it will circulate more evenly. If you have it open, it'll dump all the cold air here. Oh yeah, and then on the island, you do also have um, power connections as well to hook up uh, more things that require power. Here we have the control for the thermostat. Here we are in the master bedroom. So here is the uh, duct for the AC. Keep this area nice and cool. It is prepped for a uh, TV mount. If you'd like to add one, you could do like a swivel mount on here. Uh, you got the connections in the ceiling for power and coaxial. 
It does have two wards for hanging clothes. And overhead storage. Same on this side. So you have USB uh, chargers, regular uh, household style chargers, and nightstands for food and drinks, stuff like that. So what's really great on the Cherokees, they did add uh, these pneumatic struts to the bed. So I know whenever I shoot videos, I usually kind of struggle, <laughs> try to pull that up to show the storage underneath, but this holds itself up. It's really convenient. And uh, you know, if you're moving a lot of stuff in and out, it'll definitely save your back. Okay, so here we are in the bathroom, really good sized bathroom. Plenty of room to change, do everything that you need to do. And it also includes three angry fighting octopuses for hanging towels, clothes, whatever you need to do. And you do have the uh, mat stand here. So whenever you open that up and turn it on, um, you know, if you're about to leave and go somewhere, if you have this open, have the fan on, have a window open, it'll keep it 15 to tw uh, 20 degrees cooler in here. That way, whenever you arrive to your destination, your AC doesn't have to work as hard to cool down. There we go. And another duct for the AC. And here we have the uh, really great size shower. There you go. And so I'm about six feet tall roughly. Still have headroom, especially with a skylight. That definitely helps. I can give you another shot of the uh, bathroom here so you can really see how big it is. There you go. And here we have the medicine cabinet. Plenty of room to store everything you need. It's got granite power connections, so if you need like a trimmer or a blow dryer or stuff like that, you can plug in. Storage underneath. And that's about it for the Cherokee. Well, alrighty, y'all, gonna sneak over from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. I wanna make this video for you, tell you more about this floor plan. Uh, I really like it, it's very affordable, plenty of space. Um, you know, just to tell you a couple things about our dealership. So with our prices, we don't have any hidden freight or make ready charges. Unfortunately, some places, um, whenever you get there, they charge you $2,000 for freight. Um, and then they say, oh, you want propane? Oh, you want a battery? We're gonna charge you $700 for that. You want somebody to show you how everything works? We're gonna charge you for that but we don't do that. We've been in business for over 40 years uh, serving our local customers and customers all over the world. Uh, we would love to earn your business. I know that price is important. I know that we're under where you want to be on price. And then more importantly, um, you know, after you take it home, uh, the most important thing is going to be service after the sale. So we make it as easy as possible to own the number one retailing brand uh, in the country. And then after you take it home, we do not have a five or six month waiting period like some other places. Um, hopefully you guys can come out this weekend. I can show you around, show you our service department. But you know, we're a small town dealership. We don't have a huge you know, warehouse facility where we can store all these RV, RVs while they're being worked on. But that's good because um, we have to turn work around faster versus everybody else uh, because we don't have as much storage uh, for that. So uh, another thing, we also offer you complimentary 32 point inspection once a year by doing business with us. Um, so I know other places can charge you hundreds up to $1,000 for the same thing that we do for free. And that's good as long as you own your RV uh, for any preventive maintenance items. And we're also members of the Route 66 network. That's the largest RV network in the country. We have 150 locations. And what's unique about our uh, network you can't just pay a subscription and join. You have to be approved by uh, three members of your peers. So this network is all about quality, not quantity. And we do also have extended warranties available uh, through Route 66 for up to five years as well. If you'd like information on that, uh, it's very affordable and um, it can definitely help you, you know, in the long run after uh, the manufacturer uh, warranty has expired. Well, okay, guys, again, it's Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. I want to make this video for you, show you more about the Cherokee 
key and everything that it does offer. Um, hopefully we can get the ball rolling here and we can get you into a new camper uh, this weekend. If you have any questions or concerns, give me a call. My number is 979-253-2611. Thank you.